This is talking on the throne. Let's talk about religions. Not a specific one. Okay. Now, I use myself. I'm born Catholic Roman, in, which was kind of funny because I used to live in Geneva, Switzerland, which is where the Calvinists and the Protestants was born. But I was the minority of Catholics there. I was raised in Latin, all Latin with the incense and the bell when you pray, like the, the mass was last at least an hour and a half, it's, you know, and we have no idea what people were saying. But we go every Sunday and I did all my communions. I even do my communion for my daughters. Oh, anyway, what my point is, a religion is something a faith of some kind is something that comes from inside of you. So you cannot have someone to force us. I have example of my grandfather who was a very true, true God believer. He even met the Pope John Paul II twice in his life. But he never forces on us. If I follow his doctrine, I will probably stay a Catholic. I only decide to become an atheist when I move in this country. Because here the evangelistics or all those religions, you end up by having different slides of, of the Bible and you use the, the slides that need your, you know, need your belief and you ignore the, what it is. Don't ignore it. And then I'll go, then again, I'm against. I don't think God, if, if there is a God, or a Buddha or whatever, I don't think. Yes, he can teach you moralities, what is right and is wrong. However, I don't think he will do that with a guilty trip. You guilty trip the peoples. And you expect those people, they just come to you because they're afraid to go to the, the bad place. This is the wrong reason, is the wrong face. It's supposed to be a faith of love or a dense understanding with one another to love every race, any, any, um, you know, rich or poor, white, brown, or I don't know why we had this idea, you know, yellow, but you know, what regardless dignities or your wealth in life, if you have a true allegiance, if you true believe of what you're actually saying or what the book say without the guilty trip, you should love everybody. And then it's if you realize, if you start to read the current or the other book, it's the same thing. But for some reason, some of you nitpick passage that cultivates some kind of different belief I also remind you, we have never known what, uh, what Jesus, Jesus Christ actually said. All those books were, write, were written about a hundred years afterwards. So it's like we base our religions on something that was writing a hundred years earlier afterwards. So please, I'm not saying there is nobody out there. What I'm just saying, you need to be a little more open. And yes, you can have the faith, but close-minded, that doesn't help. I said, if you have the faith and you keep yourself open-minded and you accept each other religions and you with love, we should actually have a common denominators and maybe we can avoid those stupid religions war. Just because we, the problem with those religious war is not they believe in their God. It become a fanatic. It become a, a cult. Fanatisms and cult are not the way of any God. Trust me on that. Thank you for little listening. And if you like what I'm saying, you can like, subscribe and donate.
And I hope I see you soon. Bye bye now. Do 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 do